Body fat and belly fat are the most dangerous ones to your health. Have you been looking for the solution to how to reduce both your body fatness and belly fatness? Worry no more. Bananabook.net has provided you the tips to reduce both your body and belly fatness. So here's how to lose your body fat without stepping into the gym. The mainstream media would like to have people believe that they must work out to lose body fat, but that simply isn't the case. I am guessing that this is a good way to sell gym memberships, but I'd rather tell you the truth. And during your weight loss journey, you will realize that the fat around your belly is the most stubborn to shift. In fact, it is always the last to go. The irony is that most people usually hit the gym with the aim of either getting a six pack or getting that flat tummy in time for summer. However, once they train for a few weeks, they realize that losing belly fat is not just about hitting the gym twice a week and then eating whatever you want. Belly fat can be quite stubborn to lose, but all is not lost. Here's a basic guide on how to lose body fat and belly fat in these simple steps. 1. Avoid added sugar. Added sugars might be the reason why you still have that love handles despite hitting the gym regularly. Try to minimize your intake of added sugars since these are directly digested into carbohydrates for which the excess is stored as belly fat. Alcohol is not your friend here either. Two cups of it should be okay. 2. Avoid refined foods. Refined foods are just as dangerous, if not more dangerous, as added sugar is. Most of the food items that are highly processed no longer have much nutritional value. All they do is become junk in your body. 3. Watch your carbs. If your daily food intake always includes a bag of fries or a candy bar, then it is time for you to rethink your weight loss strategy. All the excessive calories eventually end up stored as fat in your body. Therefore, for faster results, keep track of your carbs consumption. Make sure that the amount you consume is less than the amount you use. Increase the proportion of lean proteins in your diet for optimal benefit. 4. Eat healthy. As the saying goes, abs are built in the kitchen. You can train hard and build muscular abs, but if you eat junk food all day, you won't lose your belly fat. Stop eating processed food. Eat whole unprocessed foods. You need their proteins and fats which are healthy. No need to be perfect. Eating junk food actually helps fat loss by keeping your hormones sharp. Don't overdo it though. Eat junk food 10% of the time max. That's 4 junk meals per week if you eat 6 meals a day. 4. Fruit and Vegetables Some fruits and vegetables actually burn more calories than you ingest by eating them. It's true. Fruits include bananas, oranges, apples, pineapples, pears, raspberries, grapefruits, blueberries, and apricots. Vegetables include sweet potatoes, spinach, broccoli, salad, kale, cabbage, celery, carrots, cauliflower, and cucumbers which are good for digestion. Try to stay away from dips. If you need a little extra flavor, you may consider a low or no fat dressing but use it sparingly. A weight loss trick preferably to use with vegetables is to eat them with a fork. Simply dip the fork in the dressing before you eat the vegetable. 5. Running Running is the worst enemy of belly fat. In fact, it is among the easiest ways of losing belly fat fast. Running exercises all of your body muscles instead of just focusing on one particular body part. Running will help you slim down. It generally decreases the chances of having cholesterol, heart disease, migraines, and disabilities. 6. Walking you have to prevent the body from getting used to workout routines that are fixed. Hence, you may need to switch occasionally. It is a good effective way of keeping your heart rate up, lose calories, and reduce belly fat. 7. Jogging If you're not into running, try jogging. Research shows that jogging is better at breaking down unwanted belly fat when compared with weightlifting. This is a good form of aerobic exercise that is useful for fighting fat and staying fit. For you to achieve maximum results on your weight loss journey, it is best to focus on exercises that burn fat throughout your whole body as opposed to those that target a specific body part. Simple exercises to reduce belly fat at home, which doesn't take much effort, which will help reduce your mental stress, increase your body strength, keeps you away from doctors and medicine. Most important, it keeps your energy level high and happy. If you're a beginner, start doing crunches 10 times per set. Each day, you must accomplish two to three sets of crunches. Crunches. Nothing burns stomach fat easier than crunches. Easy workout with not much effort. Twist crunches. Twist crunches are like your regular crunches, but in twist crunches, you have to lift the right shoulder towards your left, keeping the left torso on the ground. 
Side crunch. This is almost the same as the twist crunch routine. The only thing you must do is to tilt your legs to the same side with your shoulders simultaneously. The side crunch focuses more on the muscles on your sides. Reverse crunches. Tilt the legs behind simultaneously with the shoulders. It is considered one of the best abdominal exercises for targeting the lower belly fat. Vertical leg crunch. Lie flat on the mat or on the floor with legs extended upwards towards the ceiling and then one knee that is crossed over the other. Breathe in and then lift the upper body towards the pelvis. Breathe out slowly. Bicycle exercise. Lie on the mat or on the floor and keep your hands either behind your head or by your side as you do in crunches. Lift both of your legs off the ground and then bend them at the knees. Bring the right knee close to the chest, keeping the left leg out. Then take the right leg out and bring the left leg close to the chest. Alternate bending the knees as if you are using a bicycle. Rolling plank exercise. The rolling plank trains your body muscles around the abdomen, hip, and lower back. Position yourself on the mat or on the floor with your knees as well as your elbows resting on the ground. Keep the neck aligned with the spine. Look forward, then lift the knees up and support the legs on the toes. Contract the knees and keep your breathing normally. This is what you call the plank pose. Stay in this position for 30 seconds. Now begin moving to and for about 30 seconds. This is what you call the rolling plank exercise. Lie down on the mat or floor sideways. Support your body on the right elbow and right leg. The elbow should then be perpendicular to your shoulder and your left leg should be above your right leg, making sure they are together. Keep the knees straight. The hips should also not be touching the ground. Hold this posture for about 30 seconds. Once you're comfortable, you can hold this position for about one to two minutes. Healthy lifestyle builds your bank account with more money. It keeps you away from hospital bills, and you can live longer without fighting your body.